Heaven is shining with flowers. Archangel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit, is shining with flowers. In the name of God, the only one, Salam Eden, greetings from heaven. With all my humbleness, we would like to convey God's promulgation regarding the decoration of the day of God's power, which has been inaugurated in Eden at the present time. Declaration of the day of God's power is officially enacted by God right after heaven has been determined to be elevated to the sky by Him. For heaven in this world could no longer be preserved since it is proven there is not even a slight attention from all people in this world toward God's stipulation of the descending down of His heaven to this world. Thus God's sanctification unto the nations is switched through the satellite communication. Aligned with this, the messengers of Eden will also be elevated to the second heaven, which is His permanent or Darussalam heaven. Thus the sanctification of the nations is altered via satellite Surga Eden Darussalam, which could be accessed by the entire countries in this world with God's approval. When heaven is no longer sighted in Jakarta, then the challenge to sanctify oneself to be accepted in heaven will no longer be as easy as when heaven is still on the surface of this earth. Thus that is God's statement in responding to the ignorance upon his heaven at the time God descends it down to the world. Thereof, God declares his stipulation to the world that God will enforce the day of his power which is the most sacred and the most sacrosanct. Thus all people in this world are able to feel directly the presence of God. Thus the doomsday that has been processing nowadays can be understood by the world public. And at the time God has elevated his heaven and we have been commanded to sound the Sankakala trumpet. Thus the signs of the doomsday will flare up more and more, so humankind on this earth are obligated to sanctify themselves in order to be saved by God through His heaven. We are commanded by God to convey His main decorations considering God's will to prevent the occurrence of the Third World War. And God also declares that this earth is processing toward the doomsday. And He announces His planning of salvation upon countries and nations in facing the process of doomsday, which is being undergone. Words mourning will happen when the earth could no longer endure even a single nuclear explosion, whereas the world is being threatened by the nuclear war. Thus God shakes the world, so the nuclear explosion will not occur even for once more. Therefore, we are commanded by him to convey to the world his warnings for the head of states of the world in order to make them alert of the earth's condition which is now processing toward the doomsday. And unto Indonesian people, we are commanded by God to convey his harsh reprimand related to God's wrath upon the oppression toward Eden. Thus calamities have besieged Indonesia as his retribution. 
What especially needs to be warned by God is the mega disaster of mud and gas outbursts in Sidoarjo. Actually, it is related to the changing of the Earth's magnetic pool that affects the area and has interacted with the black hole's magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic pool has interacted with the black hole's magnetic field. Thus, doubt not that the flaring doomsday will get stronger and destroy anything that is controlled by the energy of doomsday, which is strengthened by the black hole. Thus God declares that doomsday is processing on this earth regarding other subjects. God also explains about the mystery of the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines MA-370. Actually, that incident was related to the burst of the shifting of the Earth's magnetic polar vortex, which was strengthened at one moment because it was conditioned by the resonance of black holes electromagnetic wave that has detected the existence of magnetic anomaly on this earth. Regarding the incident of accidents upon airplanes, ships, as well as deadly accident of multiple car crashes on the ground, those will happen more frequently due to the problem of the shifting of magnetic pole. As for the shifting of the magnetic poles in the form of vertexes, they keep changing their location, wandering around the world. Therefore, they cause many deadly accidents happen in various parts of the world. Other incidents that should also be worn are the mystery of sinkholes as a trace of threat of the wicked alien from other planet. And I, Archangel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit, provides explanation about the secret of crop circle. Regarding this matter, I will describe it in a special explanation. God is willing to state his vows to be released to the world. That is his vow related to the declaration of heaven is open and God's vow related to the declaration of the day of God's power as well as God's vow related to the declaration of the day of God's court of justice for the head of states, statesmen, and religious prominent figures in the world. The most recent God's stipulation is actually to release his revelation for the world. And this is the beginning of the release of his revelation for the world, which will descend down intensely and lengthy for the sake of overcoming heavy problems in this world as well as endeavoring the world peace and for the salvation of this earth's inhabitants. Therefore, we need to state that God will continuously say his words unto the world through his satellite so that all people in this world could watch God's revelations that he is sending worldwide. Upon this issue, Please allow us to convey to the world public that such is the application of the declaration of the day of God's power. But the most important one that we should heed is the revelation regarding God's salvation when this earth is no longer proper to be inhabited. For the process of doomsday, in the times ahead will be simultaneous year after year will be undergoing increment so the process will even get worse 
and this condition cannot be lessened, let alone be recovered. The joyful hysteria upon the coming of heaven can turn to be an overlapping misery if the world public at the same time ask to be saved promptly, for they have certainly realized that the hell is really flaring up relentlessly since today. It is as certain that the condition will create insurmountable panic situation, which will engulf all nations in this world. And for this purpose, God requires the existence of regulation of the obligation to sanctify oneself for all people and nations who wish to be saved by heaven. It is said the complete doomsday will happen in 42 years from now. Thus heaven should exist to save all nations in this world. We only have no more than 10 years to sanctify the nations. And an estimation of another 10 years afterwards to organize the preparation of every necessary supply for the evacuation to the other earth. For after that, this earth will not be proper anymore to be inhabited. Be certain of it. Therefore, this God's revelation is presented unto the international world institutions such as United Nations to initially make this God's stipulation that we convey to be focused as a guidance of salvation from Him. As for the worsened process of doomsday, it will only be experienced by those who are left behind and the remaining people who occupy this earth as the answer or the dwellers of hell, and it is a standardized God stipulation that there are people who are the dwellers of heaven, and some others are the dwellers of hell. And surely God is the most self-aging and the most forgiving, truly the most holy as well, and He is willing to help the evacuation of this earth's inhabitants to the new earth after heaven could exist to sanctify people. That is our assignment. All of his watchings and warnings as well as his peaceful solutions for all nations will be broadcasted sooner. In the name of God the Almighty, this is I the Archangel Gabriel take a vow that I shall come to the world to announce that heaven is elevated by God from this earth. As for God and His most important declarations for all countries and nations in the whole world, the time has come for God's stipulation to reveal the Eden's miracle. Surga Darussalam will be descended down to come closer to the earth. And regarding my coming is to pick up the messengers of Eden, whilst I also convey God's will for the world and for Indonesian people. Thus, at the time I appear as a man before human beings, then I will explain the existence of God's testament for the world. Thus I will come to appear as a human in this world to take care of every errand that is related to God's salvation in the time of doomsday and the implementation of His court of justice upon all creatures in this world. My appearance will be done at the right time 
in accordance with the criticality of the world that should be solved by God and taken care by me. For the sake of authority of Eden's kingdom and the accomplishment of sanctification of the public of the whole world, for the sake of heaven and God's adjudication that can only be taken care by an angel sent by God, thus I guarantee that I shall come to be a human soon. And all of this shall be happen real before the world society. Therefore, prior to my coming to be a human, there will be signs that will be provided. And my coming shall be the provision of the utmost of God's miracle throughout the apostolic era. For the aim of my coming is to take care of the apocalypse. Surely I come as God's judge who shall conduct his court of justice with consideration that his court of justice will be applied first for the countries and the head of states or religious prominent figures whom judge by God as the ones who are involved in the heavy worldly problems which then initiate the waging wars in the name of religion or which have caused the doomsday's process to come. About the sanctification of the entire nations in the world, the process will be broadcasted through the satellite Surga Eden Darussalam. Aligned with the stipulation of his court of justice for all human beings in this world, especially upon the head of states, thus God will apply it via God's satellite, which is able to penetrate the entire satellites on this earth without being able to be hindered and to be detected. The day of God's power is not permanent, but rather it has an end. That is after Suga Eden Darussalam spaceship could evacuate this earth's inhabitants to the new earth. Then Surga Eden Darussalam satellite has come to its end function. The world society should be united, support each other to carry out this sanctification program from God. Thus heaven could save as many as possible this earth's inhabitants. If the sanctification of the nations runs smoothly and afterwards, we shall start to take care of God's salvation for the entire nations on this earth. In the name of God, the only one, thus it is our decree conveyed from heaven that would be all and thank you with my sincere heart. Archangel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit, God's messenger, as his most supreme judge, on behalf of him, conveyed by Leah Eden.